Right, you guys, what is going on? I'm gonna face the camera uh, front ways for this one because this video, this video I have wanted to do for, well, ever since the video came out. I haven't watched it, I've wanted to watch it for so long. It is Saquon Barkley career retrospective. Is it career? I don't actually know what it is. It's, 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 a, it's a video by Joseph Vincent, absolute legend. Uh, he makes sporting compilation videos, but he's, he's brought out a couple recently that I really want to react to, which is one about Saquon Barkley, and the other one is about Patrick Mahomes. So those two videos are gonna be the two coming up. Today's video is Saquon Barkley. I, look, I, I guess I'm expecting quite a number of people to watch this video. I wanna introduce myself once again. My name's Jacob, Jacob McDonald. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I delved headfirst deep into the world of American football around about May or June time last year, 2018. So it's been eight, nine months of me learning the game, following the game, watching highlights, you know, posting my reaction videos on this channel as a rugby player. Okay, so that's why I titled my videos Rugby Player. Yes, eventually I'll take that out of the title, but for now I'm still doing it. I am a rugby player. I played 20 years of rugby. Uh, I'm 28 years old at the moment. I was born in New Zealand. I, I moved to Australia at age 19. I've been living in Australia since then. I remember saying I've been in Australia for six weeks, thinking I'm not gonna last here. I remember saying a year, two years, three years. I remember how crazy five years sounded, and now it's nine years. It's like life goes on, guys. You know, at the end of the day, life goes on. Time is our biggest asset, and it's running out every single motherfucking day. So live a life that you're proud of. Live a life, you know, with the least amount of regret as possible. Obviously, there's, there's gonna be some regret, and, and that's just part of life, but I definitely in this last year, or especially in this last nine months, I've tried to live a life where I, I just don't regret things because it's, it's something that just eats me up inside. So anyways, <laughs> that's a bit about me, okay? Welcome to the channel. If you are new here, consider subscribing. If you do enjoy this video, hit the like button. I've got over 350 American football reaction videos now, and I'm proud of it. I'm proud of it, but I've, I've enjoyed it, and that's why I'm still doing it. I, fuck it. I really enjoy it. I really enjoy it, and I'm, st I'm trying not to swear so much. So today's video is Saquon Barkley. Uh, I guess the reason why I'm, I'm you know, doing this intro part is because Saquon Barkley, man, I started watching American football on YouTube just after the draft. Okay, so he'd been drafted second overall, and I, you know, that's, that's basically the first inkling I had of his name. I looked up a few videos of him, I looked at his top 10 plays from PSU. Uh, that video's gone really well. And basically throughout the season, I, I've, I've followed his career because I was extremely interested. I saw this guy, he's like 6'1", he's like 240 pounds. Um, he, he runs a 4.440, if not faster. You know, when he does run, he, he really like leans into it. He's got that power um, at full flight. You know, Saquon Barkley looks amazing. He looks, he looks like he's gliding along, along the ground. And, you know, combine that with hops, Combine that with an amazing jump cut. Combine that with just epic running ability. And you've got a freaking amazing running back who has now received the Offensive Rookie of the Year award. And I'm not surprised. I came in, as soon as I started watching American football, as soon as I saw my first snap, as soon as I saw my first handoff to a running back, I knew that I love running backs. I knew that that was the position that was you know, most associated with, with where I've come from, from rugby. <clears throat> Um, the ball is, is usually passed backwards from the quarterback to, to the running back and that's how you would receive a pass in rugby. Um, in which case that means you've got space in front of you to, to assess what the defence is doing and then spy a gap and hopefully go through. The great thing about football is that if your offensive line is doing their job, that lane may even be opened up for you, you know, and then you don't have to do anything. But what I've seen Saquon do and what I've seen the best running backs do is that even if that lane isn't open, it doesn't stop them. It doesn't stop them at all. They quite like that because it's a chance for them to use their flair and use their skills to, to, to do something that the defense weren't expecting. And the coach probably wasn't expecting. They probably weren't expecting. And that's the thing with the best running backs is that it's like art. They don't know exactly what they're gonna do. But they've got that ability. They've got that split second sort of decision-making ability to make something out of nothing. And that's why I love Saquon Barkley. And that is why we're watching that video today. So with that being said, I've probably, <laughs> I've probably been talking about five minutes now. It's time we get into the video. 
I'm going to roll the intro and I'll see you back here in just a second. The quicker you're here, the faster you go. That's why where I come from, the only thing we know is... Okay, I've watched the first five seconds of it. I have been putting it off, putting it off, putting it off because I want to watch it with you guys. This is a special player. He's in a special time in his career. He's just won the Offensive Rookie of the Year. He's got 13 or 1400 rushing yards. I mean, the amount of jump cuts around the outside and just pin his ears back for the line that I saw was, was amazing. I don't know how many touchdowns he scored, but we're about to find out. In fact, I'm gonna read this right now. Rookie of the Year winner and league sensation Saquon Barkley, drafted number two overall by the Giants, has taken the league by storm. This short retrospective takes a look at the origins of Barkley, his college ascension, and his rookie year dominance that has pundits and coaches around the league comparing the running back to Barry Sanders. Okay, so this is gonna give me a bit of context about where he's come from, which is good. And the next video that we're gonna watch is Saquon Barkley's full rookie highlights, which is gonna be absolutely amazing because it's gonna show absolutely every single snap, which is with, with, with the commentary, which is gonna be amazing. The unfortunate thing about Joseph Vincent videos is that there's not a lot of actual live footage. It's more so a compilation with cinematics and, and slow down footage and, and things like that. But with that being said, that's enough talking. Let's get into it. As coach said, I love the expectations that they have for him within the franchise. This is everything Saquon Barkley is. First, vision. Two, Bam. cut. Bam. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, that was his hit on, on uh, Ramsey, wasn't it? Look at them. Look at them when they get up. That kid Look at this shit. Good yeah. Player. Give it to him, Barkley. Give it to him. If you're a giant fan, yeah. be excited. What are you going to do, Ramsey? I love it. So, Saquon, you moved from the Bronx to Pennsylvania when you're five years old. You know, I kind of had doubts. Uh, for a little bit, um, I wanted to give up on football, and my father gave me some of the best advice. Um, once you quit in one thing, you quit. You quit for the rest of your life. There it is. Weightlifting has been a huge part of your football. Game. I think he busted out something like 27 reps on the uh, the 225 pound bench. Now that is monstrous. I mean. Crazy lifts, crazy. And a 405 pound fucking clean and jerk. See ya. I truly am a believer in what you're doing weight room and what you're doing Didn't we just see that run before? It's like a gazelle. Doesn't need to... to, to <laughs> I thought he was going to have a nice clean jump cut, but he really doesn't need to. He can just run straight into people. Skill, vision, power. He's improving. He got bigger. He got faster. He got stronger. Look at that physique. Address of the weight room has changed. Saquon's commitment to being bigger and stronger has not. It's a workout warrior. You've seen that event. Whoops. Every year I got stronger, they got faster. He reminds me of the combination of the Barry Sanders, Chuck Foreman. Look at this. Look at that. You guys try and rip 405 pounds off the floor <laughs> and hold it on your collarbone. Wow, I mean that is just intense power, man. He is so special. Yeah, I remember that one. He has explosive ability. That was stupid good. <laughs> I always think it's funny when the, the defenders go flying, go flying through once, uh, when they give hurdles, the defenders literally do not know what's happening because they feel like they're just about to make a massive contact and then it's like, nah, see ya. It's funny. And he 
he is by far the best player in the draft. I knew he was going to catch that and automatically give a, 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 a left foot jump cut, which is exactly what he did. He's got such good awareness, man. Boom, perfect timing. Keep going. Oh, man, he's so good on his feet, guys. He is so good. I think Saquon Barkley. I love Ezekiel Elliott. I love Leonard Fournette. Uh, Todd Gurley, huge grade on those guys. Mm -hmm. I think this kid could be better. The New York Giants select Saquon Barkley, running back, Ben Gives him a Tiki Barber kind of back with even more potential. Now, like I said, like, it, oh shit. like I said, I um, unfortunately I just missed the draft when I first started watching American football. So. After seeing a few of the college football games from the last season, it's going to be really interesting for me to watch the combine for a start, which I can't wait for. I love things like that. And then, uh, and then the draft day. So, yeah, can't wait. Oh my God. <laughs> It's like a long jump. What you're thought to bring to this offense and to save this offense. Now Barkley up the middle, comes to the outside. And again. One of the few players in anywhere on the field, he can score. Yes, there's only a few players in the NFL that can do that. And the Giants have one. Yes, they do. He absolutely loves his little, his, <laughs> he gets the hand off, he comes around the right hand side of the quarterback, he sees that defender coming across, it's left foot, bang, and he literally jumps across maybe one or two meters, and then it's pin your ears back and around the outside, using your blockers in front. He's got it down, man, he has it down. I don't know about his right foot cut going around to the left. But I've seen a hell of a lot going around to the right, and every single time it just works. Understand why the Giants draft him at number two because he is a special, special and player. Oh, we have yeah, the bam! Oh, they did two spins there. Get off me! This kid can do everything. Not only is he a great runner, we know that, but he's a receiver. They, yeah, he is a receiver, yeah. Quite clearly. I think Saquon Barkley. I think Barry Sanders. Is that body frame no. or ability along with both? Oh, I'm talking about the basicness. It turns a loss into a gain of nine yards. Getting low center of gravity, able to sit up there and juke guys and embarrass them, make them look looking all around. And back goes to Barkley. Barkley's got it on the run. He's got a first down inside the tank. Tip throwing along the side. But just the eyeball test is way. No one else is. Boy, he makes people mess in space. They're going to give him a lot of touches. 20 to 25 touches per game. He just did a 1, 2, 3, 4 spin within literally a foot. He's got, he's got that one, two, three, doesn't he? He's, he's got it down, man. He's the ground and his motion stops. Stop right there. Watch how quickly he accelerates. This kid's something special. I'm talking like Barry Sanders special. Touchdown, Saquon Barkley! That was amazing. What does that mean to do a Barry Sanders player comp? Because you're setting an expectation that is so high. He lines up out there as a wide receiver, a linebacker, one-on-one. -on -one. It's a mistake. What's he going to do as a receiver? I want to see this. He's like a receiver. But he's Barry Sanders with 20 pounds of muscle. He's a special. He's a special. That corner didn't do much. He really? First down! The best back in football is... Sick. Imagine Barkley having some quick slant routes. Saquon Barkley does it all, man. Does it all. Yep. He is the prototype new NFL running back. Too easy. That is some serious...
his man time. Rudolph Hartley, I mean, is he the best pure football player coming out right now, or is he more than that? We talk about a generational talent. The start and stop ability of this guy is unlike anything I've seen. That's so, oh my god, it gives me, it gives me goosebumps, man. For them to say things like, is this a generational talent? Is, you know, are we seeing something so special here? I, I just feel so excited. I do. To see this guy continue to play, I really do. He's only had one season, man. Eh, jump cut, eh, another one. Too much pace, too much pace. He knows he's got it over this guy. This guy ain't getting him. He's already jump cut of these two. They're trying to catch up to him already. He's got pace. And he's gone. See ya. Bye. Well, okay. Sorry guys, maybe not. <laughs> 55 did actually keep up with him. And just like one thigh, I was like, that's my torso. Second down at 18, he shows incredible balance. He's tough, he talked about his legs and the size of his thighs. There's Becca looking to fly. Oh, we're gonna see that again. He's tough, he talked about his legs and the size of his thighs. Is he going to score it? Go! Go! Has he got the pace? Yeah. What a touchdown. His talent speaks for itself. It's incredible. This guy is a jitterbug holding a stick of diamond. What I'm wondering is actually how his and uh, OBJ's relationship is. Because I feel like OBJ may have sort of lost a bit of the the shine the, the limelight you know what i mean it's it's sort of it's always been on barkley this year i don't know how he'd like that <laughs> like the dude is physically and i think he's big time oh the speed the speed and the power those guys aren't going to bring him down i knew it you can just tell Five pounds. You can run a 4-2 4-2? 4-3, I reckon. So that is one thing that I feel like makes American football easier to score touchdowns than rugby because we literally need to get the ball over the field and down in the ground, on the ground, right? So it needs to touch the ground. If it's over the line but it doesn't touch the ground, it's called held up. The offense keeps the ball but they go back and it's not, it's not a try, it's not a touchdown. So, I mean, one of the major, well, two major times when I see this happen and I think about it is when the running back or receiver, whoever, is going for a touchdown and they dive out and all they need to do is touch that pylon. I'm like, if, that's, if that was the case in rugby, we would score so many more tries because, you know, we're always sort of just about there but the ball ju just doesn't get put down or it's just out, you know what I mean? So if we actually just had something in the air to sort of aim for, there'd be, there'd be you know, there'd be more tries scored. And also the other time is when the running back will come straight over the back of their O-line when they're about one yard out to try and get the ball over the line. I mean, if that was rugby, we would have to go over and also have the ball touch the ground at the same time. So it wouldn't be as easy, right? So obviously having the ball in the air over the line is gonna be easier than having to ground it over the line. And that is the major difference about scoring a try as opposed to a touchdown. Yeah, I know we've seen running backs come into the league and, and have success early. This guy just seemingly can do it all. Reminds me a lot of Emmett Smith and his ability to make the first guy miss in the hole. Rarely do you see the first man make the tackle on Saquon. Oh, don't you just love that? Inside the 30. If it's a mission, no man can survive. He's the man for the job. And he said he has a generational spirit when playing the game. Somewhere, somehow, someone's gonna pay. I just love it. He grew up idolizing the great Barry Sanders, and he looked like it. Uh, this is the best nine-yard run I've ever seen. He is, as I've said many times, the best by far running back prospect I've ever seen. Setting up the screen for Barkley. 
that's what makes him unique. At that size, where he can do running routes and catch the football. Oh my God! Tackle him! Fuck! <laughs> special dude. This is, I mean, it is incredible. It really is incredible. You know, sometimes you see, in the, when, you're, when you're coming up in the rugby ranks, sometimes you see cra crazy players, or sometimes like a team will have a, a guy who's a foot taller than all the other kids, you know, and they just carve up. No one can tackle them. It's like, tackle him, man. That's what it's like. It's like, it's like a man playing against boys, but, it, <laughs> but it's not. As to why they picked him second overall, 55 yards from St. That jump cut is so nice. We're making a cut. He's an enormous first. He's full power, breakaway, moves, catching. He's got everything. 204 total yards on the night for number 26. My calves were always bigger than everybody. Even in grade school, the older kids would look at me like, what are you doing? Yeah, well, now his thighs are bigger than everybody. 823 yards from scrimmage. He has been statistically sensational. Second nine. He's making people miss. Running away from people being used in the past game. As he comes back and Barkley. He's been using the return game. Don't tell me he's going to get a first down. Saquon no. Barkley can do all those same things. He's 230 pounds. He can jump over you. He can make you miss. There's Barkley. He can do it all. <laughs> it's like Michael Jackson. About him being a generational running back. What is it about him that makes him so special? He's going to run in the low 4 3. He's going to jump through the roof. So he's an athletic freak. Bang, bang, bang. Bang, bang. He's going to jump through the roof. So he's an athletic freak. Bang, bang, bang. Bang, bang. See ya. Saquon doesn't have a lot. And he's still getting a Actually, I've got to look at that because this is this is his bread and butter. I need to know exactly. He's going right, left, right, and then it's a left, right. Whoops! So he's an athletic freak. Right, left, right, right. Well, he's he's actually doing a three step each time. It's just so fast. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like when they go da -da -da, just to do a right foot step, sometimes I think, well, why don't, why don't you just bang a, just a right foot in? I mean, I guess that the little shimmy of the feet, the one, two, three, or one, two, three, four, five, puts the defender off, but as far as you being the attacker and wanting to get round him as fast as possible, I reckon just one foot, don't you? Anything we've ever seen. Slant root, that's what I'm talking about. Bang, yeah, like that, like that. Like that. Since you have as much man love for Saquon as I do and all the other talent evaluators I'm talking to. Yeah, it's tough not to lose. It really is. I mean, he's, he's special. This team hasn't had a great running back since Tiki Barber. Little dead leg. Oh, it's too good. Fifty. 
Ramsey. <laughs> the only guy in last year's Whoa! to weigh how much he weighed to leap as high as he leaped. This kid is really a specialist in comics, Saquon Barkley. Even he's like, how the hell did I do that? This kid can't do. A little, little different look, but they're going to run into Barkley. Shivens, man. Bang, 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 bang. One Barkley, one a year for the rookie. Ladies and gentlemen, say one more. Get used to it, folks. He's going to be around a while. That's some pretty crazy hops, man. Like, he just kept flying. <laughs> you would have expected him to sort of come down a bit. <laughs> hey, it looks, almost looks like he would have made it to the end of the end zone. Nobody brings it off like a joke. Well, Joseph Vincent, I am not one of your Patreon supporters, but I absolutely loved that video, and I hope you guys did too. I know I've talked a shitload, but I knew that you know a, a lot of you guys are probably going to want to watch this video, and we might even get some new new viewers. So it was my duty to not only introduce myself, introduce my channel again, but but tell you guys where I'm coming from as far as my perspective, and I guess that's why my audience enjoy it. So. If you have enjoyed this video, once again, hit the like button. If you want to subscribe, please do. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace out. Have a great day. Bye.